Hello guys, I am Shahzad Ahmed and welcome to election number 25. Please, we are going to discuss about the request class. So, you can easily understand how can you receive the information if it's coming from the HTML form or how can you send the information from your project to anywhere. That means incoming and outgoing requests. So, that's why we need to access the request class. Coding Narrator is providing you the request class we will discuss about it as you know we have a my query it's a controller name and we have created the controller this controller while working on query builder you know very well that we have completed the query builder sections in our previous lectures and we are starting the other things in coding Nighter 4 so now i am going to create another controller in the controller section Okay, now I'm saying this is the Okay, I already have a home controller. I am going to use this home controller. Okay, now go to the page if you add, if you access The home so as you can see it's looking fine. Now I need to remove this one. Okay fine if I say is it working or not we have already verified but I'm saying working fine now I need to create the form but before doing this we have we need the view we need to load the view so how can you load the view you know very well that you have view and now it specify your view name this is the first parameter and now I am saying load the home view. So definitely it will find the view, this view from view folder. So as you can see this is a view folder and you know very well that home is not available here. So what you need, you just need to create the home view. So right click, new file, home, so it's fine, I am saying HTML. Okay, now if I say that welcome in coding nighter 4. Okay, go to the page, refresh the page. It's not working. Why? Because you have to echo your view to load properly. Okay, it's working fine. If you right click view page source, as you can see, this is the HTML text okay we have created the view now we need to create i need to close this one okay i need to create the forms so i'm saying forms so this is the form and uh, we use the actions okay now i'm saying the method is post but now i have single text fields with placeholder I'm saying enter your name and now I'm saying name equals to my name or email so it's already depend upon you now I'm saying I have the button and the button type is submit because we are going to submit the form okay now go to the page refresh the page and make sure you have to save your file save ctrl s go to the page refresh the page fine click on this as you can see it's not going to anywhere because uh, we have not provided the action okay now you know very well that you have the url helper and uh, it's also available globally so what you need just need to access the you uh, sorry site url so i'm saying go to the home controller and find the method for suppose i'm saying new user now i that means i'm sending this information to this method so now go to the page refresh the page now click on this button okay you have to echo this bad boy also go to the page refresh the page fine click on this so as you can see it's going from home to this controller you are at the home and when you click on this it's going to 
you know, control it. Okay, now I'm saying that uh, I'm going to create this new method here. So now I'm saying new user. And here I say that new user method working. So it's a method. Go to the page, refresh the page, fine, click, write something, click on submit button. So as you can see, it's saying working. So now you are sending the request from your HTML form to your controller. So how can you send the information? In this way, you can send the information, but how can you receive the information? So this is the question. Okay, now we have a class to receive the requests, either it's a get or post or either it's a server or cookies like this. I'm saying config, I have a server class request this matter. Now I'm saying this is the request. Now we have some methods. If you use the get var method and just use the email because you are using the email here, so that's why you need to fetch the information here and echo this bad boy. So now write your email, it's shakesy and hit the enter button. So now as you can see you are receiving the email. Okay, so this is the first way to receive the information which is coming from the form. Make sure the get var method, that means this method will pull from a request. That means either it's a get request or either it's a post request. If I use the get here, so now I'm saying hit the enter button. So now as you can see, we are sending the information at the get, but it's still receiving. Now you can also specify either it's a for some it's a it's a get. Now you can specify get and get. It's working fine. But if you use get and post refresh it's not working because you are sending the data the method is get and you are receiving the data as a post so that's why it's not working if i write here the post now go to the page refresh the page it's not working because this is the get so refresh and now i'm saying email it's sexy now hit the enter button so now as you can see it's working fine you can also use the server as you can see, this is a server, and you can also use the cookie if you are receiving the cookie. So it's totally depend upon you how you are using. But we have a special kind of methods like uh, if get get post refresh the page, it's working fine, and we have another method post get post get that means if you are sending the information as a post as you can see it's working fine but if you are sending the information as a get so now go to the page refresh the page so now as you can see it's working fine so it's totally depend upon you if you are receiving the JSON data, we will discuss about it. You can also use the get JSON. And uh, in our later lectures, we are going to explain other things, including Niagara Force. 
like how can you embed the world's powerful framework which is the bootstrap yes i'm talking about the bootstrap 4 that how can you add the css or js file or how can you add the bootstrap 4 we will also explain the other things so i think this is enough for today in the next lecture we are going to cover some other things so thank you for watching